census data is available in Table Builder going back to 2006. For the most recent census data, select 2021 Census of Population and Housing, then Census Table Builder Basic. Five data sets are available to choose from. These are different between Table Builder Basic and Table Builder Pro. Select the theme that suits your needs with a single mouse click. A number of predefined tables will then appear, which can be amended to suit the user's needs. You can select and work from one of these, or you can double click back on the data set themes of your choice to create your own table from scratch. In this example, we will create a more complex table with a cross tab of data items, including customized data at a low level geography. We will create a table that will demonstrate the number of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people reporting one or more long-term health conditions across different Indigenous locations in the Alice Springs Indigenous region. First, we will add Indigenous status into the table. Frequently, for analytical purposes, we want to be able to look at the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander population as a whole, while Table Builder has Indigenous status separated into Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander, and both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. To group these together, we need to create custom data. Click on the blue custom data button on the bottom of the screen. We then need to select the data item we want to customize under step one. So we open the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples folder. Then open the twisty next to indigenous status. Then we need to select the response items we want to group together, which is Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander, and both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. Then click on the blue arrows to isolate these items into their own group. We then need to save this grouping with a custom name by clicking on the Save button at the bottom of the screen. We can call this table Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander. You can view your custom data items on the left-hand panel where they can be edited, downloaded, or deleted. If you navigate back to your data table, you will see these custom data items appear in your data item list. We will now add this, plus the other response options we want, to the column of our table using the button in the top left of the screen. It is good practice when using census data to include the not stated response options so that the total includes the entire applicable population. Next, we will add the data item, whether has one or more long-term health conditions, located within the health folder. We will add this to the row of the table. Next, we will add in the geography. The census includes a number of different geographical areas, so you will need to decide which classification best suits your needs. The data tool ABS Maps, available on the ABS website, can help with this decision by displaying the boundaries for these different classifications. Commonly used geographical areas for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island data include the main statistical area structure, the indigenous structure, remoteness areas, and local government areas. We will select the indigenous region of Alice Springs and add the lowest indigenous geography Indigenous locations, also known as ILOCs, to our wafer, meaning the data table will be restricted to those living in the Alice Springs ILOCs. These ILOCs can be selected individually by opening each Indigenous area and selecting each ILOC, or as a group by clicking on the arrows to the right of the Indigenous areas and selecting ILOC UR. These can then be added to the wafer by clicking on Wafer at the top of the screen. You can see these ILOCs have appeared as wafers, meaning that when you export this table, you will get data for each of the ILOCs. The table is now ready to save and populate with data. To save, click on the Save Table button on the top middle of the screen and type in a name for the table. Save tables can be viewed under Save and Predefine Tables in the top left-hand side of the screen. To populate the table, you can either click on the Q Table button on the top middle of the screen or you can change the file type and click on the blue Q table button on the top right of the screen. Type a name for your table. We will call this one 
long-term health conditions in Alice Springs ILOX. To view your populated data table, click on the three dots menu in the top right corner and click on Saved and Queued Tables, then click the link to download your table. This table is showing counts of people. You can also create a table with percents. To create a table with percents, select Options, then Percentages, then choose whether you want the denominator to be on the row or the column. For this example, we will look at what percent of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people reported one or more health conditions, meaning we will use column percents. Type in the same table name as before, but add a percentage sign at the end. This table shows that in 2021, around 30% of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people reported one or more long-term health conditions in the ILOC of Charles.